We will now proceed with the induction of a new honorary fellow of the college, Ian Ross. The appointment of honorary fellow is an award to those who have achieved eminence in their field and have made an outstanding contribution to the life and work of the college, either of the parent colleges or to the cause of education generally. The college greatly values the contribution of its honorary fellows. Today's award will be presented by Mr. Stephen Cox, Chairman of Council. I call upon Professor Raphael Yanez Munas from the School of Biological Sciences to present Ian Ross. Chairman of Council, it is my privilege to present to you Mr. Ian Ross. This honor is awarded in recognition of Ian's exceptional contribution to Royal Holloway during the decade he has spent as a member of the College Council from 2007. Initially as an alumni representative and laterally as vice chair, where his wise advice, not to mention his mischievous sense of humor, was much valued by all his colleagues. Through his membership of the Council, Ian has devoted a considerable amount of time to his alma mater. A qualified charter director, Ian's 40-year career has embraced the international life sciences sector. He has successfully completed multiple financing transactions and, with over 25 years in cross-border management as a chairman and CEO, his advice was hugely valued by the council and the college. As a council member, Ian also worked to promote the interests of the college, building networks and encouraging supporters. Ian's dedication to Royal Holloway began while he was a student reading biochemistry. Ian was known for many things, including being the college DJ and compare, completing a seven-day snooker marathon, and getting into the Guinness Book of Records. After graduating, Ian served as Vice President of the Student Union from 1975 to 1976. During this time, Ian was responsible for transforming the Athlon Dining Hall into a venue that hosted huge 70s rock bands, including Black Sabbath, Mango Jerry, and Curved Air. In his final year, Ian was advised to focus his energies more on biochemistry. It is not known if he did. But his graduation, together with his student union successes, led to his first job with Bass. Ian took more than his degree away from Holloway. Barbara, a student from the arts department, went on to become his wife. Ian took a while to find his professional passion, or in the wording of the current college campaign, to find his why. But when he did, it was with a bang. In 1978, he joined the pharmaceutical industry and worked for major companies including Sandoz, Hoffman La Roche, and Celtec Group PLC, where he persuaded the governor of New Hampshire to give them $30 million to build a biotech manufacturing facility which has now become the largest site in the US for producing monoclonal antibodies. Now, you will realize that I'm reading a speech. I've never done that in my 30 years career and there are many reasons for that. And the next two paragraphs exemplify why. So at the end of each of them, I'm going to tell you why. Thereafter, he became a turnaround expert in the biotech industry. He has raised over 350 million pounds for biotech companies, led six IPOs, and currently he is chairman of three innovative public companies, eTherapeutics PLC in Oxford, Redex Pharma PLC in Cheshire, and Cassia Therapeutics in Sydney. I first met Ian in 2011. 
As a member of council, Ian took a keen interest in my proposal of a Royal Holloway Center for Gene and Cell Therapy. After much development, the center was approved earlier this year and is becoming increasingly important in the field of therapeutics for rare diseases. If I was speaking off the cuff today, I would have told you that only this week, a second possible therapy developed at Royal Holloway has been licensed to a major company to be taken to clinical trials. And that may make a massive difference to people affected by a rare disease that you will have never heard of, oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy. Second paragraph. If his professional activity was not enough to keep him busy, Ian has been a trustee of a number of charities. He's a king golfer, an avid football fan, and has become a significant shareholder and director of Aldershot Town Football Club, which is already benefiting from his turnaround skills. You can guess why, but who in his right mind would stand in a public gander, gathering in England today and mention the word football? <laughs> right? Well, students here learn many things, not just history. They learn teamwork. They learn to become professionals. They learn to cope with deception and disappointment. And that's what we saw on the pitch yesterday. But what I would tell them, and I would have mentioned football today in my teaching, if I was teaching to them, that they should take example from their manager, who went around and after congratulating the manager of the opposite side, lifted off the pitch those, those players who were so dejected that were sitting on the ground, embraced every single one of them, had played or not, embraced his whole technical team, and demonstrated how to be gracious in defeat because it's a very important thing to learn from disappointment, to learn teamwork. And those are the kind of things that we teach our students here. And I'm sure Ian would have learned them here because I know some of the people who taught Ian during his time as a student. And now to finish. As vice chair of council, Ian has brought his commercial skills and acumen to the service of the college. He was closely involved in the campus refurbishment, in particular, the new Emily Wilding Davison building, a flagship project for college. Ian is a person of courage and determination and put his all into backing the college. In recognition, therefore, of the extraordinary amount of time and energy which he has dedicated to the college to ensure that it continues to flourish Despite his countless other responsibilities, may I invite you, Chairman of Council, to induct as an honorary fellow of Royal Holloway and Bedford New College, Mr. Ian Ross. <laughs> <laughs>